Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. Uh, so this is your weekly oracle card guidance and we have three options here. Option one, two and three. And we are using Doreen Virtue's Life Purpose Oracle cards. So I know that my neighbor is playing his saxophone and I hope that sound doesn't bother you. Uh, this is the only time I have available to be able to shoot this oracle card reading. And uh, yeah, I hope this sound doesn't disturb you if you can hear it. And um, yeah, it's quite soothing, I, I find, for me anyway. Um, and I hope it will be nice for you as well. Uh, so please go ahead, make your selection, and you can go down to the timestamp below. Where so for those of you who have chosen the option number one here, we're asking, what is it that we need to hear this week? Or what is it that we need to know in this week? So the card we have is called support and the caption reads your life purpose fully supports you. So the reason I actually chose this deck is because I felt that many people at, the, at this moment are thinking about their careers, about their life paths and about whether they've made the right choice or not. And I thought that it would be interesting to be able to use the life purpose uh, deck to be able to find out what is our oracle guidance at the moment, but also to find out if there's something that we need to know with regard to our life purpose right now. So this card here talks about supporting oneself through one's life purpose and actually allowing oneself to be to be supported in one's life purpose. So one's life purpose or one's career, one the way in which one spends one's time doesn't need to be an outward only uh, experience that is your energy being released from you or taken away from you or pointed outward it can be an experience which fully aligns itself and is in hand in hand with one's own experience one one's own personal growth and healing and transformation and so this card here is talking about how that actually is the case how one's your life purpose is is going to support you whatever path you choose is going to be the one that you need to be on right now and that it's okay to be able to draw support from your life purpose it's okay to be able to draw support from the work that you're doing and to be able to gain that and in fact that's how it should be that every activity that we do should be giving us something as well as giving back uh, to the world or giving outward so the other uh, message i'm picking up here is that if you've been feeling like you've you know you've been hanging on uh, for dear life or you've been struggling or you've just been needing that support from outward if you've been feeling quite bare quite naked in in terms of the of the experience that you've been having if you've been feeling like you've been stripped bare by it it's okay this is actually part of the course right now it's part of that space that you're in right now and it's like you are in a transitional space this is not how it's always going to be and that's really a very strong message right now. It, this is not how it's always going to be. You are going to transition through this. You are going to come out of this. And there is a, a light at the end of the tunnel. And the support you're receiving right now, the support that you're seeking right now is there to help you. You need to be able to be, to detach yourself from where you're at inside of you, from your experience of the pain or the struggle that you're going through right now. Enough to be able to hear what the support is offering you and what messages are coming across to you and where it is that you need to perhaps transform or adjust oneself or or receive simply the support that you need receive the, the healing that is coming your way and to be able to make space for yourself to be able to do that um, because here is the, the feeling I'm getting is that there isn't much space for that there's just this angst and this difficulty that you might be caught up in and so there isn't much coming through even if there's something knocking on the door they are wanting to come through and coming coming there to help you or wanting to assist you it's like you can't see it you can't take it in and so this actually this this card is talking about allowing that to happen allowing that support to come through allowing one to be supported through this time even in difficulty even when it feels like there is no help in sight allowing oneself to believe that you can be supported through yourself through your life purpose and through whichever other means are coming through to support you 
there's one other message here and that is that uh, allow oneself love allow love to beam through you allow love to come through you um this might seem like quite an obvious message but it love is really central at this moment love and clarity and focus so those are the three uh keywords i would say for your week ahead is to be able to focus on what it is that you need and to be able to go forth with clarity but be supported by love have that love that is your self love and the love that you have for the world come through you and to be able to make space for that love that you have for the world because if you've not been feeling it recently if you've been feeling quite antagonistic towards the world then um that might actually be harming you so allow that love that you have for yourself as well as for all that you hold dear to you to be able to resonate with you make it your resonance for your week ahead so that you may able to go forth um with that clarity and uh focus on what it is that you need for yourself at this moment So that is your weekly message. I know it's a bit shorter this week and not as uh, perhaps in depth as it usually is. I I just feel like um the messages need to be shorter um and more to the point this week as well. So I hope that does help you and I hope that does resonate and I'm wishing you well as you go along in the week ahead. So for those of you who've chosen the second option here, I actually um want to say that I've chosen the life purpose uh, oracle cards today because I I've been feeling like many of us are thinking about our career, our goals and where we headed to and I thought that these cards may be resonant with you. So um the messages that I'm looking for are not just what is it that we need to hear this week and where is it that we are um you know what what is the advice for this week but rather where is it that we need to be going to and what is it that we need to know in terms of our career and our lives as we move ahead okay so let's give this card a good shuffle and this card here feels resonant oh there are a few of them i'm going to put them back and just continue and just choose one card for today okay and we have strength. So um once again I hope you don't mind my neighbor playing his saxophone in the background there. I just didn't have a chance to shoot this uh, at any other point. So um yes, I hope that it's okay with you. So this card is called strength and it says everything you've been experiencing in your life has made you strong and courageous. As so I feel like this is necessary for you to hear right now. It's necessary for you to hear the, this message because sometimes one feels weak and one feels overwhelmed in the face of things and what one needs to do. And you know, when you're feeling that way, you're not really able to recognize how far you've come and how much you've done in your life and how um capable you are how many skills you've developed in the meanwhile and how strong you've become how much of inner uh, strength you've developed and what is you know the resilience that you have developed is also quite strong because you, you've been around for a while you know i'm not talking to new bonds here and uh, along your way you would have had many experiences which would have formed you and one needs to also have faith in one's um instinct and one's reaction to one's life um and how one forms along the way so this card is almost to say well take stock of your strength take stock of you know the experiences that you've had and what you what you've come through and who you've become as a result of that and how is that going to help you in this week because you know you might find that as you go along you need to be reassured of that you need to be reassured that you have enough strength that you actually can take this on and it feels like um whatever you're facing it's it kind of becomes complicated and overwhelming and so i think that as you go along in this week just be steady and remain in your faith in yourself and remember that you have all that it takes to be able to go through this even though at times you may doubt that i feel like there's a really strong sense here that you are able to overcome whatever it is that's that's headed your way whatever it is that you're going to be facing and that there is no doubt about that there isn't a doubt like i feel like in terms of this energy there's no doubt that you are going to be 
uh, able to manage all of this, whatever you're dealing with in the months ahead and in the weeks ahead and even in this week. And um, well, the only thing that you need to um, to believe in is yourself and you need to remember that and go with that and actually not let anything get in the way of that. So stop doubting yourself or don't second guess yourself if you have been doing that. Just allow yourself to move gracefully through this and you know, remember your strength and allow your strength to, to hold you as you push forth. So um, I feel also like make, doing an exercise of, you know, certain experiences that you've had in your life and what you've developed um, or how you've developed rather from it and how you've actually benefited from it might be a good thing to do right now um, in terms of being able to prepare yourself as you go along in this week. All right. So do, yeah, do prepare yourself as you go along in this week. Um, armor yourself, so to say, so that you may be ready for whatever comes your way. So I recognize that the messages this week are a little bit shorter than they usually are and um, perhaps more to the point or more on the surface. But I hope that this uh, message resonates with you and I hope that it helps you as you go along in this week I feel like it's very much to the point and there isn't I feel like there, there there isn't much more to it at this moment all right so good luck with all of what you're dealing with and good luck in the week ahead I wish you a strength-filled and a doubt-free week ahead with many many blessings so for those of you who've chosen the last option here we're asking what is it that we need to know in this week and what is it that we've come here to hear? And since we're using the Life Purpose Oracle cards, uh, the other question I'm going to be asking right now is, what is it that we need to hear in terms of our life purpose? And what is it that we need to know regarding our life purpose at this moment? Okay, and we have the card school. Hmm. The answer that you are seeking involves going to school. So that's a very direct um, answer. It's very much... Um, you know, saying it quite clearly that whatever it is that you need to be doing right now, it requires acquiring new skills, uh, developing oneself further, in acquiring more information, acquiring um, particular um, certification, perhaps, or um, acquiring certain credentials as you go forth right now. So where is it that you need to be learning? And if you're feeling, well, you know, I'm definitely done with the school days and I'm not going back there, and I'm not going to be learning anything. I don't need to be learning anything. You know, it's not necessarily about school. It could be that you listen to a workshop or you're sitting on a on a, on a workshop or you simply um, read something that in which you where you're acquiring more information. So I would say that this card in terms of the weekly guidance is talking about you actually perhaps doing something with regard to a school. And perhaps it's it's you know, it's not about learning at a school, but maybe um, volunteering services there or donating something or there is something here with regard to a school which you are getting confirmation of and if it's and for some of you it may also be that you need to acquire certain information acquire a certain education acquire a, a, a range of skills that are going to assist you as you go along um I want to say here also that it might be that, you know, one needs to look back at certain things that you enjoyed or you love doing when you were at school and ask yourself if you feel that that happiness or that guidance um, or that feeling of faith as you've had it when you've been at school. Um, so let me clarify what I mean by that. So, you know, when we're younger, when we are still um, in in our school years, there are many things that we find quite exciting and extraordinary and we are discovering our lives and some of these things give us certain joy they give us um, kind of a little feeling like magic you know and like having a, a certain kind of beat in you and I want to say that um, this card here it's almost saying to me well go back and think about what are those things that you used to enjoy what, do, what did you really love when you were at school what did you really enjoy and love and what made you happy uh, because maybe that is where some of your attention needs to be placed and this is where you need to uh, focus uh, a little bit more all right and then um, this this feeling of 
of have of being of graduating this feeling of knowing something that is more of what i feel like this week brings to you so it might be that you just go online and you do a short course on something and there's this feeling of having accomplished something or having graduated from something at the end of this week which makes you feel like you've you've made progress that there that you have gotten further along so if you feel like it's time for you to go back to school or if you feel like you need to do something that um, makes you feel newer or more polished in terms of what your offerings are in this world then go ahead and and look at that look at where it is that maybe you need to go back to school for those of you who are at school and you're wondering well what does this answer what does this card mean in 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 this respect it might actually mean that uh you need to consolidate a certain course that you're doing or you need to focus um more in one particular direction it's almost like you need to focus on one particular thing right now like you need to move in one direction and and put your focus on that one particular thing so um it's like one thing needs to be finished before the next thing can be started so see where that applies to you and if that is um relevant to you there's one other message in here for you and i feel that you know your innocence needs to be looked after your innocence your, your understanding of the world needs to be protected and i think that in whichever way you are able to do that consider consider that at the very least because if you lose that innocence you may become jaded and you may become quite quite sad quite disillusioned rather by the uh, by the the way things are so try to maintain your innocence try to maintain your your wonder your zest um for whatever it is that you are uh, hold dear to you as you go along don't let that be stripped away from you so i hope that message uh, has resonated and i hope that's been helpful on you for you on some level i know that this um this cardio is very specific here and it's very much saying go to school uh, but i do hope that the messages that i've given you are are going to resonate even if um, the card doesn't necessarily resonate uh, with you um i've always found uh, this um cover to be a really beautiful cover and um uh, even though it's not a deck that i use often i felt drawn to use it today so i do hope that these uh, messages have resonated in some on some level i wish you all a fabulous week ahead and um may you all remain healthy and safe and uh, blessings abound from kismet rising